So imagine watching America's Most Wanted just to realize the guy they're looking for is literally right behind you. Basically, in 1992, the cook at the Green Pear Cafe in Utah had just been murdered by a bandit named Adam Gali. Unfortunately, however, Adam actually managed to escape before the police could catch him. So America's Most Wanted soon featured him in one of their episodes. When this episode aired, the rest of the workers at the Green Pear Cafe obviously all tuned in to watch to hear the latest updates. When the episode ended, most of these workers simply went back to work, but a couple actually decided to stay to watch the next episode. And these workers were probably really glad they did because the moment they saw who was on the screen, they immediately called the cops. You see, this next episode was highlighting a completely random child molester named Kenneth Lofty. When his face first appeared, the workers joked that he kind of looked like their new cook in the back, who had just replaced the guy who had gotten murdered. But after a few minutes went by, these workers were suddenly like, wait a minute, that's actually him. As it turns out, although Kenneth had committed his crimes more than 1,300 miles away, he had somehow ended up working at this exact cafe. Since Kenneth had just been cooking in the kitchen at the time, the workers were able to quietly call the cops. He ended up serving seven years in prison. 